section five, we start back with our regular crochet hook, which in this case I have this pretty little furls metal streamline H size five millimeter. So again, this was, I was using the five millimeter as my regular crochet hook. My Tunisian hook was a six millimeter. You're going back down to the five millimeter regular one. And you can start right at the end of the second section four. You don't have to cut your loop or anything. Just put your regular crochet hook in where the Tunisian hook had been. And we're going to start working along the sides. We're going to begin by placing 19 single crochet along the edge here. So first we're going to chain one and put a single crochet right around the side of the last single crochet we made in our bind off. That is one. And then keep going across two. It was really easy on this side of the Tunisian to work into the edges. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and now we're doing three single crochet along the side of this drop stitch row. So let's see, we have one, two, three, and then five single crochet along this little section in between the drop stitches. One, two, three, four, five. When we repeat those again, okay, same thing. Three along the drop stitch, five along the regular Tunisian knit stitch, all the way up through this last section of drop stitch. All right, so I'll do all of that, meet you back at the end of this last section of drop stitch. This is the last Tunisian drop stitch section, so there's my three, and now we're going to place eight along the side of the very beginning section of our Tunisian stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now we're going to begin a repeat section that will go across the domino squares crop top section, which was section one. Okay, now we are going to hit our repeat section for going along the bottom of the domino squares crop top. So I'm going to show you how to work along one of these squares and then one of these squares, and that's going to repeat all the way across for most of the rest of this side. So to begin, we're going to place three single crochet in the sides of, around the sides of each of these next three stitches. So one, two, and three, and then three in the next one, one, two, three, three around the next one, one, two, three, and then we're going to place a single crochet into this little seam right here. Okay, so this little bit right here is kind of our seam in between the two stitches. We're going to place a single crochet there, and that makes a total of 10 stitches along the side of this square. And now we're going to place a single crochet into the bottom of each of these 10 stitches of the next square. So that would be 10 single crochet total in the bottom of this section, this square. One. Nine. And 10. And we repeat that all the way across the domino squares crop top section. So now we're going back to the three single crochet around each of the next three, then one in this little seamy bit, and then 10 across the bottom of the next one, and so on and so on all the way until we hit the end, oops, 
until we hit the end of the domino squares crop top section and then we will meet back here for the final bit of working along the edge of this piece. So here we've gotten back to the Tunisian knit stitch section. We finished the domino square section and there are 10 single crochet along the edge of each of the little domino squares. And now we're going to put eight single crochet along this little section of Tunisian knit stitch. So let's go ahead and do that. Six, seven, and eight. And now we're going to place three single crochet around the side of this drop stitch section. One, two, and three, and then five single crochet, Oops, shaking everything when I do that, five single crochet along the side of this Tunisian knit stitch section. One, two, three, four, five, and keep repeating that across. We'll do three, and then five, and then three, and then five, and then three, and then five, and then three, and then 19. So I will meet you back here after we've got these last 19 single crochet done over here, and then we will go ahead and start row two. 17, 18, 19. For row two of section five, we are going to turn our work. Now we are on a wrong side row. We're going to begin by making a chain one, then single crochet into the first stitch, and now we hit our repeat section. We skip two and place five double crochet into the next stitch. So skip one, two, and put five double crochet into the next stitch. One, five, then we skip two and make a single crochet, chain three, single crochet in the next. So skip one, two, single crochet, chain three, and single crochet. We're going to repeat that across until there's just six stitches left. Here we are at the end of row two of section five, and I'm making my, I have my six stitches left. I'm skipping two, and I'm going to put five double crochet into the next stitch. I know this whole setup while I'm camping is very shaky, but hey, that's life, right? <laughs> you work with what you got. All right, and now I'm just putting a single crochet into the very last stitch, and that is all it takes. If you find you didn't have quite the right number, um, you can always just kind of pull back a few of your little repeats, and um, just add or subtract one from however many you skip every once in a while. So if, you, if you're if you off by one, just go ahead and place a single crochet in the last stitch. If you're off by like two, um, you know, fix it, go back a couple and add or subtract a stitch every once in a while where you need it. Row three, we're going to turn our work. And then a slip stitch just into the first double crochet then double chain two in that first double crochet, and double crochet into the next stitch, chain three, single crochet into the next stitch, chain three again, and double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And now here is where we begin our repeat section. So for our repeat section, we are going to single crochet into this chain three. 
Then we will double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Chain three, single in the next stitch, chain three, double crochet into each of the next two stitches. We're going to do that repeat one more time. So single crochet into the chain three, double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Chain three, single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, double crochet into each of the next two stitches, and then keep repeating that to the very end. And we are now on our very last repeat of row three. We're going to single crochet into the chain three double crochet into each of the next two stitches, chain three, so this is the same repeat as before, right, chain three, single crochet into the next stitch, chain three, double crochet into each of the next two stitches. Once you've done that, that should be the last of the five set of five double crochet beneath it, but if you notice, this little fan, they're all supposed to have five. I seem to have put six in this one. So I'm just going to pretend like that sixth one doesn't exist because sometimes going back and fixing it is just way too much time and it will totally work if we just ignore it. So I did my very last repeat and now all we're going to do is single crochet into the very last stitch. And that's the end of row three. Row four, we are going to turn our work Row four, we double chain two and then put two double crochets all into this single crochet that starts the row. So double chain two and two double crochet. My yarn is all tangled here. Okay, one, two, all into that very first stitch. Then we're going to single crochet into this chain three we're going to chain three more. We're going to skip that little single crochet there and we're going to single crochet into the next chain three. Then we're going to put five double crochet into this single crochet. And this actually begins our repeat section. So the beginning of our repeat section is five double crochet into the single crochet down here. One, two, three, four, five, then single crochet into the next chain three, chain three. We're going to skip this little single crochet down here and single crochet into the next chain three. And that's the end of our repeat section. So I'm going to untangle this yarn right here and do one more repeat for you. And then we'll meet back at the end of the row. So let's do that repeat one more time. Five double crochet into the single crochet. Then single crochet into the chain three. Chain three. Single crochet into the next chain three. And there we go. We're going to repeat that whole repeat section all the way into the end, and then we will come back here to finish off this row. Now we are finishing row four. So we're single crocheting into the chain three, then chain three, single crochet into the next chain three, and then we have just this little bit left. So all we're going to do is do a three double crochet into the very last stitch of the row. One, two, and three. 
And that is the end of row four. Now for row five, we're going to turn our work. And now the first thing we're going to do is chain one, which doesn't count as a stitch, and then single crochet into the first stitch. Now chain three, double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And now we're hitting our repeat section, and this should be very familiar because it's pretty much the same thing as row three. We are going to single crochet into the chain three space, double crochet into each of the next two, chain three, single crochet into the next stitch, chain three, double crochet into each of the next two. Okay, let's do that repeat one more time. Single crochet into the chain three, double crochet into each of the next two, chain three, single crochet into the next stitch, chain three, double crochet into each of the next two. Okay, we're going to keep doing that all the way across and I will meet you at the end of this row. We've gotten to the end of row five here. I put my single crochet in my chain three. Now I'm going to double crochet into each of the next two stitches, then chain three, and then single crochet into the very last stitch. That is the end of section five. It's the end of row five of section five and the end of section five. And now you're just going to fasten off because we're going to start section six, which is on the opposite side.